Hello everybody, my name is Nubbar Chieftain and welcome back to another episode of my Skyrim Anniversary Edition Let's Play series on Legendary Difficulty. So, when we left off, our hero here, Tiberius Maximus, had just been appointed a Thane of Whiterun in recognition of his victory over the Dragon and the Western Watchtower. However, to call that our victory might be somewhat of a gross overstatement, given the fact that we spent the majority of the fight cowering inside the tower itself while Irelith here and the rest of the Isles guards did battle with the Dragon on our behalf. Nevertheless, Upon its death, uh, we did in fact absorb the dragon's soul, thus granting us access to our very first dragon shout, the one, the only, unrelenting force. Now what happens here is this opens up the next stage of our quest, uh, the main, li main quest line, I should say, uh, the way of the voice. As you can see here, which means the greybeards effectively summon us to visit them at, at the, uh, their sanctuary at the very summit of... High Hrothgar, which we will do, we need to do, in all honesty. Um, but first and foremost, there are a few things we need to do. Well, there are lots of things I want to do. Um, not least of which being is sort our oh, saving, sort out our status ailments because we are tired, hungry. Um, so what I'm going to do? Hmm, yeah, there's a couple of things in here. So let's go. I left some food in here last time we played, and I want to pick it up. Uh, uh, horse meat. You know what? Let's eat it. Let's get the venison. I want a couple of leeks. I need to check our carry weight actually. So we are right close to the limit. So I don't want to do. I don't want to pick up too much stuff over here. Uh, I will take the garlic though. I think. That should do us for the time being. What we want to do is make a few. Uh, a bit of food. We've got a, we've got a quite a collection of stuff, so I want to make I want to use up what we can and then give spend the rest of the stuff to carry for the time being because we're quite full. So ooh, I've got cabbage shoe. That just sounds so good to me. I'll, I'll, I want to try that in real life. Yummy, yummy, yummy. Uh, right, let's cook some of this meat up. Horse haunch, yum. <laughs> right, <coughs> we're going to make a venison stew. Get rid of that. Uh, we're going to cook up the salmon meat. Really out of salt already. Fantastic. Uh, we'll cook the goat. Doesn't that look appetising? Yummy. Right. Uh, and we'll do a pheasant roast. And that's the rest of our salt. Now we will pick up some more salt along the way, but that's okay. So next thing we need to do, let's check it. Check. I've uh, got your back. Sven's inventory here. What do you want me to carry? Uh, lots of th <laughs> pretty much everything. You know, mm, we were given the Axe of White Run by the Yarl, weren't we? It's like a present for being a Thane. Um, I would give that to Sven. We'll keep that in storage as memento, actually, because it's the very first kind of item we've picked up. Anyway, let's not dawdle, let's not dawdle. Let's get going then. Let's, Sven, right. We want to get straight back to our base at the um, Bannered Mare. The Jarl has appointed oh, me to be your house, Carl. It's an honor to serve you. I'm a Thane. What does that mean? The Jarl has recognized you as a person of great importance in the Hold. A hero. Yeah. The title of Thane is an honor. A gift for your service. Guards will know to look the other way if you tell them who you are. Now, Lydia here is actually a follower, uh, could be a follower. In fact, she's one of the better ones, but for now, I'm going to keep Sven because I like him. So, bye bye, Lydia. We'll talk to you again Farewell. later. I promise. Let's go. Right, what time is it? 6.55 a.m. Good lord, that was early. Although, I suppose, from Tiberius' perspective, he's probably not actually been to bed yet, so it's actually really late for him, and which is why he's exhausted. So, we're going to run straight back to the Bannerman. It's ready to go for now. Um, do a bit of inventory management, sleep, and eat. And then we shall push on. I have a few things that uh, I'd like to do. Uh, first of all, we need, we're going to need some more gear. That's what we need. Because um, our situation is pretty dire <laughs> at the moment. Um, so I'm going to give us a bit of an upgrade. We'll get to that in just a moment. Uh, that's quiet in here for once. That's very strange. This is a local no, spoke too soon. Sven? Ragnar the oh man, Rick. come here. I'll stay there. It's up to you. I've got um, your back. I know you've got my back, Sven. You're a good man. 
That's why I brought you with me. What do you want me to carry? Well, actually, I'm going to... You know what? We'll leave all that on you for now, just in case I need to do any more uh, crafting on the move. But I'm going to take these. You don't need those for now. It's just weighing you down, my friend. It's just weighing you down. Uh, and I'm going to give you some food. Uh, give you the cabbages, because they are weighing us down. Uh, I'm going to give you the carp. I'm going to give you the dye fish. I'm going to give you the Ida cheese wheels. We don't need those right now, but just in case we get the ingredients, we might use it to make some... Um, Elsewhere fondue, which would be quite useful for our Magica. Uh, I'll give you the... Give you the apples, yep. Um, give you the horse meat, yummy. Give you the leeks. Give you the mud crab legs. Give you the raw, ch raw, raw pheasant. Give you the potatoes. Give you the apples. Give you the tomatoes. Right, now we go. Everything else is pure. Oil. Well, I'm doing this because I don't... No, give you that. I don't want to eat anything um, by mistake. Uh, I, 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 don't, I don't want to eat any. I don't want to eat any raw food by mistake because it gives you food poisoning, which is really, really, really debilitating for a number of days. You leave. Oh no, I'm moving like a granddad. Oh no. Uh, right. So in here we're going to pop our uh, the axe of I already have this enchantment, so I don't need to break it down. I don't want to sell it because this is our first real memento, our first victory. Um, when we eventually have a house, I'm going to store a lot of this stuff because it's it's cool. Um, so bye bye. Uh, uh, we're going to put the steel sword in there because I may well use that to do some enchanting with later. Ooh, we want to keep this orcish mace for a bit. I did have a plan for that. Uh, nope. Oh, hang on. Silver gauntlets. Should we give those to Sven, actually? It'll be quite an upgrade for him, won't it? Yeah, we'll do that. Uh, crafting materials. So, get rid of these dragon bones. These are heavy as shit. Get rid of the iron. Uh, get rid of the medicine. Get rid of the silver. Get rid of the steel. Um, you can actually sell the dragon bones. Oh, we're lighter now. We are much lighter, aren't we? You can, yes, you can actually sell the dragon bones, but I'm not going to do that because um, eventually our crafting or smithing rather will be up to 100, and we'll be able to use dragon bones because it makes pretty good weapons. Um, this, you are, just be quiet. Right, we're going to sleep for a solid six hours. Quiet. Right, so we're now well rested. That's one status ailment gone. And uh, let's eat. That's just you. Ooh, I also have a salmon steak. And followed up by a rabbit. And a beer. <laughs> it's after lunch time, is it? You'll have a beer, right? So, let's crack on. Next things we need to do is leave this banner out before I punch that bard in the face. Yeah, I wish you could just deactivate those bars because they wind me up no end. Right, well, we want to find Amrin. Uh, so, actually, because I've got his sword on me. And I know it doesn't have any weight because it's a quest item. Uh, well, quest items don't have any weight. But uh, I just want it gone because it's. I like it. I didn't do that right, did I? No, you didn't. Now we can find him. He, he has. He what do you need, my friend? Chops and steaks, fit for you. Easter, Nothing for the moment. Thank you, though. Take care. <laughs> there he is. There's my man, Amran. Hey, how are you doing? Sometimes I miss the soldier's life, but when I hold my daughter in my arms, I know I made the right choice. No stress. Here, yeah, I have your sword. You found it. I've been looking for that blade for months. I know you told me. You that's why I went for it. You all those bandits yourself? Thank you. Here, well, my father had a favorite sword and shield technique. Let me teach it to you. In honor of his memory. Okay. Right, so this now opens him up as a trainer in one-handed weapons, which is quite useful for us. So that's out of the way. That's one quest down. Do you get to the cloud district very often? Oh, what am I saying? Of course you don't. Could you be any more of a prick? Divine smile on you. Um. <laughs> right. So, what I want to do now is, if you remember, uh, a few episodes back, uh, we found a chest in Emmershard Mine that I. Couldn't figure out how to open. Well, I know I know how to do it. 
So we're gonna. I'm gonna teach you. Teach you how to do it. So. This is what I couldn't find before. It's the guards barracks. Got to keep my eyes open. Damn dragons could swoop down at any time. A solid advice. Solid advice, my friend. Not this book. The book we want to read is this. Uh, the guard dossier. Yaktu Gra Orko. Oh, God, that's a mouthful. I'll just call her Barbara. Um, status active. Capture or kill. High priority. Description female. Orc late forties. Background. Yaktu was a former blacksmith at the station slash in the Imperial City, a shop inherited from her father. She was contacted by the Crimson Dirks and recruited to forge arms for the bandits, as well as launder sacked goods through her shop. When the Imperial City Guard issued a warrant for her arrest, she fled the city with another member of the bandit gang. Operational notes. Yaktu was originally thought to have fled to High, High Rock and taken refuge in an orc stronghold. However, according to our informants, she actually travelled with another agent to Skyrim. Reports of an unusually well-made weapons and armour being peddled out of Emshard Mine may be related. This information should be forwarded to Commander Ka Caius in Mitron as the mine falls under his jurisdiction. Now, I believe the Sasha Slash is actually... I mean, it's been quite a while since I've played Oblivion, but I'm pretty sure we can visit there. Anyway... We are going to go back to Embershard Mine for the, for what I hope will be the last time. I wouldn't normally bother going back, but I think um, the gear that we will find, as you will see, is is worth it. Um, we, we are in dire need of an upgrade, so off we go. So this shouldn't take us too long. It is a relatively short quest, um, and it's slightly immersion breaking because. Uh, we don't. Well, we have already been to Embershard Mine at least once, you know. But the gear that we will find here is just too good to miss, as far, in my opinion. Uh, so we'll get on our horse here. Uh, maybe it's Sven catching up. No, no, he will. He'll have to. And uh, we shall move. So, as, as I mentioned before, you know, we we've got a lot of things to tackle because we un uh, unleashing the dragons this early is somewhat problematic when our when our gear is just not up to snuff, you know. I mean, it, normally we're going to need at least another 10 levels, 10, 15 levels for our build to sort of take shape before we're really competent at killing dragons. Um, this is the way Legendary is, unfortunately. But uh, I say unfortunately, it's not the part of the fun, in my opinion, the fun of the challenge is to get, is to conquer Legendary. And at some point, you know, inevitably it becomes a walkover anyway. Some things will still hurt you a lot, so you, 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 depending on how you build. If you haven't got much health, some things will still ruin your day. But generally speaking, not so bad. It's, it, Legendary is pretty easy um, once you get to a certain point. You do have to get your magic resistance up, though. That is particularly important. Not just for the dragons, but for the mages. Because uh, mid to late game mages are absolute death. They're like the Emperor. They have these chain lightning from their fingers that just uh, destroys me. And a lot of the Draugr, um scourge, scourge Lords, whatever you call them, they have... That was a delayed reaction. Are you alright, horse? Yeah, they, they tend to use a lot of frost. Um, high level frost spells, which kind of melt me. Or freeze me. Melt me. <laughs> I haven't had a cup of tea yet. You have to forgive me. <sighs> yeah, at least we're at river. Right, we're near there. So, yeah, we 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 will sort the magic um, resistance out. There are a few things we can do. Like the Book of Love quest and or the Lord, get the Lord's Stone and... If needs be alteration, um, there are there's some gear. We might hopefully we'll find some resist magic uh, gear along the way, or if not, some resist elemental gear. But um, one step at a time. But in the short term, the first thing we need is better armor. Now I had planned to build at least a steel soldier set of armor, but what we're about to get will be a lot better, I think, just in the short term, because we want to get on with some quests. I don't want I don't want to get too bogged down in power power leveling the build if you see what I mean I do like to keep my playthroughs as organic as possible because it's more fun you know but typically for me if I start building uh, power level power, le power leveling for a build well the time I built the character I don't really want oh, we go. I really shot, I shot it I don't really want to play the character anymore so it's kind of a lot more fun to do it organically um, not to, not to disregard the character builds, it is a lot of fun, and I certainly like to do them, but it's 
when I'm doing a longer playthrough. I like to take my time, if that makes sense. Right, where is Sven? Sven, you coming? Sven? 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 No. Run around. Ah, there he is. Hello, Sven. Thanks for joining us. Right. Let's get into this mine. Let's get some gear. Um, we will take some vegetable soup quickly. Like so, or in fact, vegetable soup. Mm, yeah. Let's have some venison stew. And we will equip our flame engine arc. Uh, we've got the iron shield equipped. Perhaps do a quick save, <coughs> just in case. I'm fairly certain the bandit's near a lower level, just in case I'm misremembering. Remembering. Remembering? Remembering. Someone we will. Here? Yeah. Hello. Hey, how are you doing? See what I mean? Sven and his Warhammer. Sven and his Warhammer. Uh, take the dagger away. She's got Orcish plate armor. Happy Christmas, Sven. Happy Christmas. Now, this is what I am talking about. This is not the one we're going to use. There is some uh, enchanted set that we will find in deeper inside the mine, but wow. This changes everything. Everything. Hey, Sven. Right Guess what I have for you, my friend. Guess what I have for you. What do you want me to carry? What do, I, what do I want you to carry? Dude, I'm giving you an upgrade. The upgrade of upgrades. Uh, in fact, we're going to give you silver gauntlets. No, as well, won't we? We were. And we'll give you orcish play boots. We'll give you that. And what did I just. Under, under, uh, I want to put these gauntlets, don't I? Now look at him. Sven. Dude. Let's get going then. <laughs> he looks like a hero of legend. Uh, right. Anything else? We could do with sleeping, but it will actually, if we, just to level up, but if we do that, it will actually um, nullify our vegetable stew. And we want to capitalise. Hello. Hi. We want to capitalise on our. Um, I can't talk. On the stamina regeneration, is what I was trying to say. Hey. <laughs> Fire and ice. But that hurts, right? But that hurts. Good. Go team, go team. Right. I didn't mean to pick that up. Well, I did. I want to wear it, but it's... Ah. Uh, you know, actually, we will. We can we can afford to carry one. They're just such a heavy thing. We we can sell that when we get back to town. I think. Right. Uh, we get further in. Um. What was that? Nothing. Nothing at all. Oh hi. Ah, wow. Thank you're bleeding. You're on, Sven. See what I mean? We can. We just cannot take the hit. So we need to get our armor rating up. As quick as possible, quite honestly. Uh, right. Sven should be able to handle this. Ah, oh, this her. This really nice. You know what? There's three of them. Sven can't handle that. That's too much for him. We'll get Toasty out. We'll get him, Toasty. Don't have enough magic here. Don't I know it? Don't I know it? I think this is the one we want to avoid. Or more accurately, the one we want to avoid getting hit by. She's she's remarkably strong for somebody who's literally wearing an apron. That's just me. Come on, Sven! Sorry, this is a bit tense. I should be talking, but I'm just worried. If Sven goes down, we're dead. Victory is yours. Where's that archer? You 
Get him. Sven using bows and arrows. I don't know why this is. But while he deals with that guy, we shall read Yaktu's journal. I, or I would if this text didn't mess me up. I nearly turned around and went back to Cyrodiil because Bjormund wouldn't shut up. From dawn to dusk it was Skyrim this and Skyrim that. We hadn't even crossed the mountains yet and I felt like I spent an eternity in this place. <laughs> I honestly, I feel like I've spent an eternity here too. At least ten years. Uh, but by Malakath, he kept coming. He kept coming, kept going. He went on about all the different legends and the hundreds of Ragnars involved in them. He talked for hours about his family, for days about his mead. Sometimes he even sang about them. Silence was not an option. Perhaps if they put that on my bounty, I might have been okay with the rest of it. But as a blacksmith, there was one story I didn't get tired of, the one about the Skyforge. It's an ancient relic, washed over by a great stone. Eagle, he said. Come spring, you'll be forging weapons under its wings, he said. I ate it up, even though I knew it was a lie. The Skyforge was for legendary smiths, and I was a wanted criminal. Unless the guard decided to quit looking for us, I was going to spend the rest of my life crafting orcish play for bandits. Idiots she didn't deserve my work, and lacked the brains to value it. Maybe that was what pissed me off the most about Bjorn's tales of hearth and home. We weren't going to welcome his Skyrim, or anywhere for that matter. We were the Crimson Dirks. We had a home, and now it was gone. Uh, so we'll take a journal, take the gold, take the key. Now this is the key, this is the key for the chest. Uh, that I can open in the second, second episode, right. And this is the gear. Now, look at this. It's not brand named or anything, but each of the four pieces are enchanted, so the helmet is increases your heavy armor skill by 70 points, which is quite useful at this stage. Uh, we also get smith, smithing gloves, so we've got that enchantment for free right now. Um, uh, not that we can actually smith this yet, because we need 60 uh, carrying capacity. We can upgrade our boots, so that's great. And blocking block 25 more damage with your shield. So once we get our arm rating up, and get a point in block, for example, we're on our way to becoming a decent melee build now. Um, so, let's equip all of that. Uh, yeah. Yeah. So look, just look at us. Look at us go. Look at that. It looks, it looks like it looks hard as nails. I mean, it's all for show. We still have an arm rating. Well, we do have an arm rating of what is it? 131, 134, which is still nothing right. We can take her down, hopefully. Hi. Ow. No, just, thank goodness they haven't got decent weapons. Oh, this would suck a whole lot more. Gotcha. Right. Iron arrows, gold. Oh. I'll take the dagger, leave everything else because it's far too heavy for us. And what else do we have? And the chest here requires a key. Well, we have the key, don't we? Do we not? Right. We have gold, we have iron ingots, leather strips, arachalcum ingots, and arachalcum ore. Now, none of it's particularly useful right now because we, so we can't actually level our... We can't smith any of the gear we've picked up except the stuff maybe Sven's wearing because this we can't... Uh, if you look, we cannot smith enchanted gear right now because I believe it's level 60. Well, in fact, I, don't believe, I know it's level 60. It's usually one of my goals. So that is something we will have to do. Yeah, so this is what we want. And unfortunately, realistically, by the time we get smithing up to 60, this armor itself will be obsolete. We'll be, we we might we should very well be wearing different stuff. Maybe not, but there's quite a lot of stuff in the Creation Club content that I want to explore, as well as just the base game. Actually, I want to make this as a thorough playthrough as we can. But that's it. This is new armor. This is what we wanted. This is what we came here for, and now we are set. So we have one more thing to do, I think, when we get back to White Run, and then it, uh, well. So what we want to do is get the armor unlocked, fundamentally. Um, heavy armor training, I mean. Because we need... Now we have a full set of orcish armor. Our next goals, we need at least two points into Juggernaut. 
and a point into well fitted and I may well take a point of fist of steel as well actually in due course um, just to get our arm rating that little pal I might just kill Sven sorry mate sorry uh, yeah let's go yeah so let's get on a horse and let's get back to watch run hopefully will be the last time we do this journey because I'm getting sick of it <laughs> but it was worth it you know it was very worth it I think that this armor will help us a lot certainly when we get our armor rating up as I said before where I'm going the wrong way aren't I? Sven so I'm not going the right way yeah certainly as we get our armor rating up I mean there's other things we can do to improve it obviously a couple of points into heavy armor as I've said um, Uh, it's going to cost us quite a lot in training, money training-wise, I guess. But it, it's, I feel it's pretty essential at this stage of the game. Um, we can also do, when we get to level, I think I believe it's level 40 and beyond, there's also forbidden knowledge we can do, which will give us an extra percentage towards our armor rating. Um, and the Lord Stone, quite possibly. Although, it's a little bit tougher to do that than it used to be. Well, for one, we're on, on, on um, survival mode, so it's going to be freezing up there, so we will be dealing with the cold as well as everything else. But also, the bandits that you find there are a lot more, a lot higher level than they used to be. Um, but it's pretty useful to do this because obviously you get, you get an extra uh, um, defense rating and also 25% magic resistance, which is 25% more magic resistance than we have right now. You know? <laughs> So, pretty essential, but we'll get to that. I mean, that's. We've got things to do before we get. Oh, I'm lost. No, we've got things to do before we get there, so. Our next thing we need to do, though, is. I should really favour this quest, at least I don't know where I'm going. I'll speak with the leader of companions, there we go. Now we have a, now we have a direction, a mission, a quote. Purpose, I suppose. Uh, poor horse. Sorry, horse. Am I sorry? I don't know. I keep saying I want to buy some armor for this horse as well, which will help a lot because I believe it gives it um, an extra thousand health or whatever. But then we c we kind of need to save all of our money for the moment for armor training because that's going to cost us an arm and a leg, uh, quite frankly. Where's he going? Huh. Anyway, well, well, never mind that. Let's get back to White Run. There's a, there's the entrance. Here it is. Oh. Jump. Yeah, uh, companions is our next thing to do, as I said. Um, it shouldn't be too difficult. Depends what if these look a radiant quest you have to do before they kinda of let you in, so to speak. So depending where they send us, it, it shouldn't be my bit it shouldn't take us too long. Yeah, it shouldn't take us too long, as I said. So we need to get off the horse. Right, bye bye Barry. They won't let you inside I'm afraid. Sorry about that. I still can't get over the seat of armor, it looks amazing, doesn't it? Right, let's go. Right, where's Sven? Sven, you with us? There he is. <laughs> he looks good in his armor. This plate armor is it's great. I think it's a great addition with the um, anniversary edition or the Creation Club. Because every single armor has its own sort of plated version, which is kind of cool. Um, they look significantly better. Where's all the noise coming from? Bye bye. Right. This is it. This is Jovaska. This is home of the companions. So, here we go. Are those two added again? This is a scripted fist fight that happens the moment you arrive in, in the. Uh, the fact the first time you enter here, but I'm, I don't really care <laughs> about what they're up to. It goes on for far too long, in my opinion, and they just 
Yeah. It, it's a nice bit of flavor, but it gets old. I haven't quickly. seen you before, have I? Have we met? I'm sorry if I forgot. Ah, fresh blood. Hope yep. You know how to handle yourself. Right, and this is the chat. I could like you to see harbinger of the companions. We all do. It is our burden to bear, but we can overcome. Excuse me, sir. You have my brother A stranger our comes to our hall. I would like to join the companions. Would you now? Yeah. Here, let me have a look at you. Hmm. Yes, perhaps. A certain strength of spirit. Master, you're not truly considering accepting him. I am nobody's master, Vilkas. And last I checked, we had some empty beds in your vasker for those with a fire burning in their hearts. Apologies, but perhaps this isn't the time. I've never even heard of this outsider. Sometimes the famous come to us. Sometimes men and women come to us to seek their fame. It makes no difference. What matters is their heart. And their arm. Of course. How are you in battle, boy? Uh, I have much to learn. That's the spirit. Vilkis here will get started on that. Vilkas, take him out to the yard and see what he can do. Aye. <clears throat> right, so... This is the very first quest. What they want us to do is... have a little brief fight here with our friend Vilkas. Yeah, now before we do anything else, what we want to do is actually unfavorite a lot of our magic. Because there is a bug that happens sometimes with this quest. Uh, which will be the moment we get outside and start the fight with uh, Vilkas here. The rest of the companions immediately become hostile and will murder us. So um, yeah, there is a fix for that. But hopefully if I do this first it might stop the bug. It doesn't always happen. I don't know. As far as I'm aware, it's, it's in, if case you have any magic it spells favorited or whatever. So hopefully, hopefully nothing bad will happen. And we want to unequip everything, really. We'll equip, equip the maze. And we'll follow him out to the yard. Right, there he goes. Uh, right, so we will do this quick, we will do a quick save here. Just in case the shit hits the fan. <clears throat> huh? Here he is, now fingers crossed. The old man said to have a look at you. Yeah. So, let's do this. Just have a few swings at me so I can see your form. Don't worry, I can take it. It's not you I'm worried about, it's me. I can smear you won't leave here alive. Slow to me. There you go. Not bad. Yeah, it's not much time of a fight. won't be so easy. You might just make it. But for now, you're still a whelp to us, new blood. So you do what we tell you. Okay. Here's my sword. Go take it up to Yorland to have it sharpened. And be careful. It's probably worth more than you are. I mean, that's a little bit harsh, but okay. I love this wolf armor. That's why I was giving you a quick look there. It's not as nice as our armor, perhaps. <coughs> but certainly early game armor. That along with the Skyforge 2 weapons. Anyway, we need to <coughs> get... So Vilkus has given us his sword, I believe, yeah. Which in actual fact is on part of the Rockish Mesh. So if you do this quest early enough, um, this is actually a great sword, because you, you, can, you can't enchant it or anything, you can't smith it, but you can use it uh, right up until you give the quest over. So if you're happy to not pr progress any further in the companion's quest line uh, for the time being, you can use that sword for as long as you like. And it's, yeah, it's on par with Orcish and Elvish, basically. But it's a good weapon. We're not going to do that. Uh, because I actually want to get into the uh, companions proper so we can use the... Well, Yorlin Greymane here. This is the Skyforge of Legend. Um, and he is a smithing trainer, which we will use later, I should think. Right, hello. What and brings he's a massive you beast of a man. Uh, Vilka sent me with his sword. I'm guessing you're the newcomer then. 
Does Vilkas always send newcomers on his errands? Oh, don't worry too much about it. They were all whelps once. They just might not like to talk about it. And don't always just do what you're told. Nobody rules anybody in the Companions. Right. Someone has to be in charge, though. Well, I'm not sure how they've managed it, but they have. No <coughs> leader since Yzgrimor. Kodlak is the harbinger, and he's a sort of advisor for the whole group. But every man is his own, every woman her own. I mean, I'm no expert, but it, that does sound like a leader to me. But uh, anyway. I'll need to be going. I have a favor to ask. Of course you do, yeah. What is it? I've been working on a shield for Aela. My wife is in mourning, and I need to get back to her soon. I'd be much obliged if you could take this to Aela for me. <laughs> okay. Now, this would fit, given what he said earlier, but I'm not going to be a dick, so... Of course, I'm happy to help a hand. No problem. That's a good man. I want to leave a good impression with these guys, you know. Brand new to the firm, so to speak. Uh. Oh, I've gone the wrong way, haven't I? Haven't I? Here we go. Now we want to get inside your vascular. That ALA should be down here somewhere. Yes. Say something to me. Anyway. Right, now she should be in here with her, I believe he's her husband. I, his name escapes me. Skewer, perhaps? How about that for memory? Right, hello. <coughs> if you wish to hunt with me, your feet need to be quick and your eyes quicker. Right, okay. Well, I have your shield. Ah, good. I've been waiting for this. Good to see you made it up here. You know this one? I saw him training in the yard Let's with Let's take Vilkis. a step back so I can... Ah, yes. I heard you gave him quite a thrashing. I mean, that's Don't not quite what happened, but, yeah. Do you think you could handle Vilkis in a real fight? I don't care for boasting. Ah, a man of action. Here, let's have Farkas show you where you'll be resting your head. Farkas. Did you call me? Of course we did, Ice Brain. Show this new blood where the rest of the whelps sleep. New blood? Oh, I remember you. Come on, follow me. <laughs> Isgrimor himself wouldn't have the patience to deal with all the rabble around right, What's this book? I better just double check that. Skewer, uh, hey, Ella, like to tease tonight's night's hunt, <coughs> but they're good people. I've been thinking. They challenge us to be our best. <coughs> now, Farkas is the guy we want you on. He's the heavy armor trainer. Nice to have a new face around. It gets boring here we sometimes. I hope we keep you. And he walks far too slowly for my life. Thing. The quarters are up here. Just pick a bed and fall in it. Yeah. You're tired. So any of these beds we can now sleep in, and also exactly. if you you can use this All place. Right, so here you are. Oh, Looks yeah. like the others are eager to meet you. Yeah. Come to me or Ayala if you're looking for work. Once you've made a bit of a name for yourself, Skior and Vilkas might have things for you to do. Good luck. Welcome to the Companions. Thanks, man. Appreciate it. By the way, if you're looking for something to do, we've gotten a letter about someone needing some muscle right here in Whiterun Hold. Right. I don't know what the fight is about, and that's not our business anyway. I just need you to go out there, look tough, and scare this milk drinker into submission. No more than that. I don't want to hear about a killing, understand? Yep. I can handle it. Try not to get carried away. I shall do my very best. By the way, if you're looking for something to do... I thought it said eliminate then, I nearly misread that. Um, yes. And as I was about to say, this this chest here and this chest here are labelled as safe world. storage. I guess that's okay. Just because um, I can show you the ropes. <laughs> Shut up. Which means we can, we, if, if we were to use this base, obviously we, our base of operations is the Banner Mare, so we're going to use that for the time being. And I'm probably not going to progress any further with the companions after this for a little while. Um, what I want to do, well, let's do this fight first. <coughs> no 
we'll close it off there. Yeah, it shouldn't take us more than a minute. Come to me with questions. I know our history almost as well as Vignar by now. Okay. Except I can remember it. I'm assuming Vignar's a drunk. Oh, we must be tired and whatnot by now, right? We're hungry. Yeah, well. I live with hunger. So where's this guy? Let's actually eat before I forget. We'll take a vegetable soup because we're gonna we're about to get engaged in a brawl. Now the errand I believe You've been seen in the company runs the drunken hunksman. Hunksman? Hunksman. I'm on, a, I'm on a job, sweetheart. I'm on a job. Don't judge me. I should be in here. And I think we will switch to our brawler's wallets in the short term. Uh, yes. Just the additional damage. It's not a huge difference, but it is a difference, you know. Hey. Hello, friend. In the market for some hunting supplies? Maybe, maybe later. I've been sent here to resolve a dispute. You can't scare me into submission. Okay. Let's go. Come, what was that? Bring it. Ow. Perhaps I, perhaps this was, ah, oh, I'm getting my magic. My bugger. So, <laughs> let's, let's favorite our healing spell. And I'm staying out of this. Give ourselves some magic. It's probably the sensible thing to do. Yeah. Right, now we're drained. Of course we're drained. Of course we are. Ow. He does way more damage than we do. Ow. Come on. Eat it. Eat it. Eat it. Eat it. Eat it. Yeah, we can't do this mano a mano. This is not going to work. <laughs> You're no match. You, you keep your keep your negative vibes to yourself, my friend. I don't want to hear it. I can still do this. He's actually considerably easier than some of the brawls you can get into. Well, I am the Dragonborn. Here and square. You know what you have to do. Fine, I'll take care of it. Just please leave me alone. Okay, and that's that. That's all we have to do. Uh, do you have anything even remotely? Free? When the Empire surrendered to the Orbitation, <sighs> I hunted. Up here, and he should be at the back, I believe. I was in bed. No, he's just stood there. Right, hello. Suckers. Some people don't think I'm smart. Those people get my fist. Fair enough. But you, I like. I mean, we barely know each other. Just gonna put it out there. But thank you for the sentiment, man. I do appreciate it. And to be honest, I'm gonna be paying a lot of your wages because I'm gonna be buying a lot of armor training. <laughs> anyway, I took care of the problem in White Run. You seem to have a knack for this kind of thing. Well, you know. I'll make sure people in charge know. Right, that'll do. All right, then. And that is that. I think we will call it this an episode done. Um, done quite a lot. Uh, when we get back, there are a few things I'd like to do. Uh, we will obviously begin to pay for some training. And there's also a few more things I'd like to clean up in and around White Run before we leave town. Um, well, I shall see you next time. Thank you very much. Bye-bye now.